Next up, we have the Catacomb Command Barge, which can also be made into the Annihilation Barge. So let's see what's in this box. Okay, let's open her up. This one, if it could be magnetized, would probably be a big project to magnetize to get the two options. So it comes with a flying base and also a regular base because I believe it comes with enough parts to actually create the Necron Lord so he can be on this base. I'm not sure if that means that you can put him on, on the base on the command barge or if there's a second one, but we're gonna find out. So then of course it has the instruction booklet for the two different options. Let's see if it shows a Necron Lord in here. It does. So the Necron Lord is put together and then added to the barge, but it looks like you might be able to put them on a base. Let's see what it says. Nope, doesn't mention anything about the base. So I think what is the intent is that you can make it as an Annihilation Barge and you get a Necron Lord out of it. So I don't think the intent was that you make the command barge and have the option to dismount him, but I'm gonna try to assemble him so that he goes on the barge and you can take him off because he technically can leave it. It's a dedicated transport. So we've got three sprues here. And we've got some flying base stuff. I'll give you two. Maybe that's because you have the option of making it taller or shorter because there's a bigger and a smaller one there. And there's our, our Lord. You can see his cape. And then other parts of him right there too. There's his legs. And then we got all these cool looking things. These, these details, I love the details on their plastic kits. Their fine cast kits have really good details too, but I love the plastic kits because they're so easy to work with. And there's the big cannon, the Annihilation Cannon. I haven't actually looked up what its stats are. So if you want to post a comment to let me know what its stats are, you go right ahead. Although I'll probably know by the time I, by the time you put the comment, because I'll have read the codex by the time you see this video. And there's some more parts right there. Just random, there's not much to say here. There's some parts for the different parts. How many times can I say the word parts? Parts, 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 parts. Parts, 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 parts. So there you go, three sprues. All for the Annihilation Barge and the Catacomb Command Barge. Like I said, I'd be really curious if you could actually magnetize it to get both options and then magnetize the Lord as well to get him on or off. We'll see. We'll see when I go to assemble it, what I can do there. And last, but certainly not least, of the models that I have to show you today, there are other models than this, but this is what I actually got to start collecting my army, is the Doomsday Ark, or the Ghost Ark, whichever you prefer to make it. This one, I don't think there's any way you're gonna be able to magnetize it to get both options, because one of the options these things are all pointing up and the other option they're all pointing down. So it would be one heck of a, a magnetization job to do it. But you know what? I dare you to do it. Somebody post a video showing how they did it or just show the finished model where it's magnetized so it can be both. Because you have to magnetize all the warriors inside or the gun underneath that comes with the Annihilation or the Doomsday Arc and everything else too. But if you do it, you know what? The first person to post up a video showing the one that they made fully magnetized I will send them one of these. Okay, I'll send you one of these for free. Anywhere in the world. Hey, there's a bit of a, a, a competition for you. Um, I would recommend 3 16th of an inch magnets for the big stuff. Maybe even as high as the... Um, what's higher than 3 16th? The 1 quarter inch for the big weapon on the bottom. For the little guys, you probably only need 1 8th of an inch. But you could probably use a 3 16th too. 1 8th will probably be good for the guys. 3 16th for the sides and 1 quarter maybe for the bottom. First person to post a video. And then email it to me, matthew at miniwargaming.com. I'll give you a free one of these. How's that for an impromptu contest? Let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay. Slash right across the front. Now this is the big one. And it doubles as a troop transport, meaning like you can put your troops in here after you've made them. Because most of your troops are plastic, which means they won't break easy. Look at that, another set of decals. You'll never run out of decals. Got a nice big instruction booklet to show you how to make it. 
Flying base. I have a funny feeling it's not gonna be very sturdy on this flying base. I might have to make a custom base for it, but we shall see. And then we've got the three big sprues. Oh, and the two options for the flying base, of course. I'll probably magnetize the base just because that usually provides a bit more power. Look at the length of that gun. I believe they had mentioned that you could actually combine kits. I guess you could just cut it and then just add another one to it. So you could actually make it twice as long. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. And a little expensive too, because you have to buy two kits just to make one vehicle. But hey, we're in the wargaming industry. People do crazy stuff like that. So we've got, looks like these two sprues are identical. So these two are the same. So I'm gonna put one down and show you the other one. So we've got the big gun here. We've got all sorts of components. And then of course you've got tons of components to make all these different Necron warriors. Now the cool thing about these warriors is they're all kind of at different states of disrepair. So there's a lot of visual appeal to them. And I think, I'm not, I don't think that they are made so that you could use them as just Necron warriors because they're all in the sitting position. So if you're making the Annihilation Barge, I don't think you're gonna be able to use these pieces to actually make a group of Necron warriors, which is too bad. It'd be really cool if they hadn't made it so you could actually create a group of warriors out of it if you decided not to use them for that. But hey, you can use these for cool terrain pieces or your own kind of custom turrets or stuff if you were playing Planet Strike and you want to make custom Necron defensive uh, weaponry, you could use these guys to do that if you're building the Annihilation Barge out of this. So that's what uh, that, those two sprues have. And then of course we have the sprue with all the big stuff. This, is, this goes on the back and then more of the skeletal structure as well. And then we've got all sorts of arms and limbs randomly scattered in here. They've gotten really good at compacting how much stuff they can put on the sprue, which is good because the more they can compact it, the smaller the box, and the smaller the box, the cheaper the shipping cost to get it out, so that lowers costs all around the board. And we want to keep costs down as far as we can. So that's the crazy Annihilation, or Doomsday Arc, or the, oh, my mind just went blank. Doomsday Arc, or the Ghost Arc. Ghost Arc being the dedicated transport and the Doomsday Arc being the big heavy support. I'm assuming it's heavy support, but it's a big tank. Well, that's it for now. That's all the stuff that I have to unbox. Uh, like I said, there are other things, mainly more fine cast models, so it's not that exciting to unbox those, but those are the cool stuff. And it's neat that there's so many releases and yet so few boxes because one, two, three, Four out of five of the boxes that I showed you actually have two different things that you can make out of them. So they released four new boxes, but it makes eight different things. I can, you see that? I almost didn't do eight properly. And then we got the Necron Warriors, which are, which are gonna be probably the mainstay. You're probably gonna have two or three of those, I'm guessing. Um, but other than that, they're, they're not even Marine equivalent anymore because they have a four plus save and they've got their, their bolter, but they're still gonna be good at taking down light vehicles because they automatically glance. Actually, that would be good at taking down any vehicles. But glance is not that great. But anyway, we're not gonna get into that. We'll review them some other time. So that's everything I have. If you wanna follow more of our videos, make sure you subscribe. There's a subscribe button right above, whether you're watching this on YouTube or on Mini Wargaming, please subscribe to be notified of more videos. And of course, if you really wanna help us out, if you like this video, if you wanna see more Necron videos, thumbs up, hit the like button below on YouTube. Or if you're on Mini Wargaming, click the Facebook like button. If you have a Facebook account or even the tweet button, to tweet it to all your friends. The more views we get on this video, the more advertising revenue Mini Wargaming makes. That means the more money I have to buy more armies and make more battle reports and, and just have a lot more fun with Mini Wargaming. So make sure you do all that. Subscribe, like, and comment below what more you'd like to see from my uh, all my Necron videos. This is Matthew from Mini Wargaming. Stay tuned for more Necron videos.